YouTube, what is good, baby? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Saint. You no longer have to wait. Today, we got some news today. We got some news today. I got a lot of thoughts. I got a lot of thoughts. So we're not going to waste no time. You guys know the rules. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We make you laugh or smile through any part of the video. You got to hit the like button. I seen a clip. I seen, I seen, I seen 10 seconds of a clip. And that was it. And I was like, hey, let me put it away. Let me throw my phone. Let me go react to it. Let me go react to it. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to check out entertainment tonight seven hours ago let's see History. History. dave chappelle attacked on stage tuesday night History. the 48 year old comedian was tackled mid-set as he performed at the los angeles hollywood bowl as part of the netflix is a joke festival the Los Angeles Police Department confirms to ET that they responded to an incident around 10.40 p.m. After the suspect, identified as 23-year-old Isaiah Lee, jumped on stage armed with a handgun replica. The suspect was detained and booked on $30,000 bail. <laughs> After the incident, fans caught this video of the suspect. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. Oh. Stretcher outside of the venue. Pretty good. Oh. An eyewitness tells ET that Chappelle did a good job at dodging the actual tackle. Adding that before anyone could understand what was happening, security was able to remove the suspect from the stage. Quote, there were a few moments where the audience were confused what was going to happen afterwards. You know what's crazy? I thought about going to this. I did. I did. I saw I saw Netflix was doing it and they had like pretty much every comedian you could think of had this whole lineup and they were spreading it out throughout like from now to the summer. I was thinking about I was gonna see uh Dave Chappelle, um Kevin Hart, and then Chris Rock, but then you know, something similar like this happened. And then I think he took himself off, I think. And then he wanted to do his own show, I think. But I was going to go to this. I was. I was. Money got difficult, but I was going to go to this. Well, that's when the comedian's good friend, Chris Rock, who performed at the festival... Oh, psych, I lied. I mean, he's still there. <laughs> ...returned to the stage to make a joke. Naturally of course. Asking, <laughs> <"Was> that <Wilson?" laughs> That was a reference to when Smith slapped Rock during the 2022 Oscars after he made a joke about the Oscar winner's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. <laughs> and Chappelle, he handled the whole thing like a boss. I've been doing this 35 years. I just stomped in the backstage. <laughs> you always wanted to do that. Everybody compose yourselves. I know he was hot. I know he was hot. Oh, I know he was mad. I know he was mad. But he a professional. He a prof you can't you can't show that you that pissed off because come on, you gotta expect it at some point or not. He be saying some crazy stuff sometimes. You gotta expect it. But I know he was hot. I wanted this to be a peaceful moment, and I'm sure now it is. The funny man even gave props to his friend Jamie Fox, who he said was right by his side, ready to defend him. Shout out to Jamie Foxx, by the way. Whenever you're in trouble, Jamie Foxx will show up in the sheriff's hat. <laughs> I thought that was part of the show. I don't know what the f*** I, I, I grabbed the back of that his head. His hair was spongy. Absorbent. <laughs> and Fox, he gave that love right back to his pal. Listen, I just want to say, man, I, I've had an incredible time. This man is an absolute genius. We got to make sure we protect him at all times, man. Mm -hmm. This is what it's about. For every comedian that comes out here, man, this means everything, man. You're a genius. You're a legend. I enjoy myself thoroughly, and we're not going to let nothing happen to you. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to assume, I'm going to assume security broke his arm. I don't think he broke. I don't think his arm was broken before. I don't think he broke it when he tried to tackle him. Um, I saw someone that he had. So he had a fake gun. I think that's what they said. And then I saw somewhere where he had a he had a knife. Um, let's go to TMZ real quick. Let's see what they got to say. Behind me are the DJ tables. One of the most prolific producers that hip hop has ever presented. The mighty Mad Lib. 
Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for hip hop history. Why is everybody slipping? Why is everybody? <laughs> hey, he didn't get hit that hard. He did kind of move it a little bit. He still got hit, but he still took some damage. He moved a little bit. Moved a little bit. <laughs> Security was slacking and then came up and just broke the dude's arm. I mean, I guess. I guess. Damage is done, but I mean, I guess. I guess. <laughs> I am going to kill them. <laughs> Wait, I gotta see this. Oh yeah, that's funny. I thought he was capping when he said he stomped him out. I guess well, I don't think he stomped him out, but I, I think he got a few hits in. I think he got a few hits in. Maybe he is, though. I'm speaking too soon. Maybe he is. <laughs> Thank God that was clumsy. And the floor was wet. Three people slipped. <laughs> He's back there getting stomped. I don't know if you I see I see the report where they, that was where they said that I don't know if he was joking or not okay all right let's see thoughts thoughts Dave Chappelle has been in the news for we'll say recently he's been in a, a lot right recently um because he had his four-part Netflix series and then he had his finale of his Netflix series a while ago and people were pissed off at that um you know, we saw it at the show. And there were a few women sitting at the show. He was saying jokes. And then they were just sitting there with a straight face. Like they didn't know Dave Chappelle was going to perform. Um, here are my thoughts. Okay, okay, let's see. Okay, okay. Dave Chappelle has been, has been a comedian for however long, right? The material that he does now makes people mad. Has made people mad before. Has, has made people mad as long as he has been performing. However, that's the same thing that has got him to where he is. He is asked around the comedian, the comedian world. People will refer to him as the GOAT. People know what he's going to say. People know the jokes that he likes to circle around. If you don't like it. Why are we why are we paying money to go see him perform? Why are we get why are we paying money to go see him say jokes that you know is not going to resonate with you that you're not going to like? Now I, I understand I understand when you know if you if if it's just somebody you work with, somebody you go to school with, and they just be talking and talking and talking, but you give him money to go see somebody that you know you don't like. And then you want to act like that? No. I didn't. I didn't like. I didn't. Now, is it a coincidence that um, this is happening kind of like a month later after Will Smith did it? Kind of, sort of, not really. Kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of though. I didn't. I didn't really like it when Will Smith did it, and I love Will Smith. I'm. I, I ain't switching up. I'm mad that I seen this random do it. I, I'm not gonna switch up. That's a problem. <laughs> Be mad all you want. That's fine. You, People say stuff. That's fine. When you're mad at somebody, when you don't like what somebody's saying, okay, we'll put it this way. We'll put it this way. People talk on social media all the time. People talk in real life all the time. People talk on TV all the time. They say their opinions. They say what they believe. They say what they want. A lot of people don't like it. So what do you do? You don't listen to them. You leave, right? If if, if somebody's talking on the, on a the TV that you don't like what they're saying, you change the channel. If Let's say somebody doesn't like me on YouTube. You don't watch my videos. <laughs> if somebody is with you and they're just talking a lot of smack and you just don't like it, 
you leave. <laughs> you don't act out and do this unless you really think it's worth it. I saw the dude's arm. I know it wasn't worth it. I know it wasn't worth it. I don't know why people, I don't know why, I don't know why we think it's okay to act out like this when we get mad. Emotions are great. Emotions, emotions, you know, everybody, everybody has their emotions, right? There's a line you got to stay in. <laughs> There's always a line you got to stay in. You don't go up to somebody on their show. And here's the difference. Here's the difference. Right At the Oscars, people can say, oh, he's a comedian. Sure, he's a comedian, but it's not his show. It's the Oscars. There's a time and place for everything. This is his show. This is his stage. This is, this is Netflix asked him to come. We see what Netflix lets him say. This is, they're fine with it. This is his stage. This is not a reward show. This is not a ceremony. This is, this is him. He's the headliner. This is him. So it's not like the Oscars where you can say Chris Rock, he's a comedian, but he's not supposed to, he's not supposed to be saying jokes like that because it's not his show. This is his show. This is his own thing. He can say whatever he wants. If you don't like it, you don't buy tickets to go to the show. Let's hit the, let me see the comments. I want to see, uh, I'm very interested to see if anybody is justifying this. I'm very, I'm very, very, very interested to see this. Um, it's crazy how more and more people feel entitled to be violent if they don't agree with you. Utter BS. Props to David. Makes me feel, makes me like him even more. The fact that someone was able to get, get up to him so quickly is concerning, especially since the man was armed. Yes. How? Sway? How? He just got up there. Man, and it was so easy. It was so easy. It's just. If he really wanted to do something, and if, like he said, if he wasn't clumsy, he got up there, he had a lot of time, he could have went in his pocket, boom, over, over, and he could have, he could have succeeded his mission. Where does he care? Do you break his arm after? Who cares? The damage is done. <laughs> um, this could have ended badly. So happy for Dave and everyone is all right. He's back there getting stumped, still keeps us laughing after the attack. Um, imagine not being able to fully tackle a guy that has that has no idea he's going to be tackled. You just got to be the weakest link. <laughs> I know. You know, I think, I don't, let's say this was pre-planned, right? Let's say he was talking to his group and then his group was like, yeah, go do it, go do it, go do it. Why would you let the weakest link go do that? You got to get the one who's most capable of doing that. Obviously, he wasn't the most capable one to do that. I want to see somebody, I want to see. I guess, I guess I got to be on Twitter or something because I, I got to, I seen something where somebody was like, um, there was a girl. I, uh, she said something like, "Hold on, let me find it. Hold on, <laughs> let me find it." I don't have Twitter, so we gotta look at uh, freaking freaking Instagram. Oof, <laughs> oof. <laughs> um, I need a the man who allegedly tagged Dave Chappelle wrote a rap song named after the comedian and in the song. He seemingly referenced the Hollywood Hollywood Bowl. Location where the attack took place, walking straight into the boat. No, it's not important. It's not important. No, 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 no. Okay. What the Dave Chappelle attack showed me is that even people that hate you will still get front row seats to watch the show. Ain't that crazy? Ain't that crazy? Ain't. <laughs> Comedians getting attacked on stage. Dave Chappelle getting tackled to the ground. All this after weeks ago, Chris Rock getting slapped by Will Smith at the Oscars. It's something local comics are increasingly worried about. And WPTV News Channel 5's Josh Navarro talked with some of them about what they want the public to know. This video captures the moment a spectator rushed to the stage and tackled comedian Dave Chappelle. He was performing at the Netflix is a joke live comedy festival in Hollywood. For some local comedians, it came as a shock. And for others, they felt it was inevitable. I just couldn't believe that they got through security um because you know i'm sure security has been amped up after the whole will smith thing here we go again and i mentioned it before will smith did it so now people think that a big celebrity did it they can now do it the encounter took place right as Chappelle was wrapping up his set witnesses reported the man was then kicked and punched repeatedly by security guards Dave Chappelle appeared to be uninjured. The suspect has been identified as 23-year-old Isaiah Lee. Authorities say he was carrying a knife blade and a replica handgun and has been arrested for assault with a deadly weapon. No word yet on a motive. If you don't like a comedian and you feel like they are in the wrong with the message they're putting out there, 
put out an even louder message of what your truth is, uh, but do it do it with your own creativity and talent the same way a comedian's using his their talent. We reached out to venues around our area who have comedians perform to learn more about their security measures. But only the Kravis Center got back to us with a statement that reads, The Kravis Center takes the safety of its patrons and its artists seriously. We have robust security protocols in place, including a security consultant who we work with on an annual basis. I'm not saying I'm walking around here worried like, oh, someone's going to attack me. But initially I did have that fear because... I do vocalize myself a lot online and people, before I was a comedian even, people would kind of make veiled threats and stuff like that. So you don't want that to happen. But, you know, in a country where we're allowed to have free speech, that is, could be uh, a repercussion from speaking your mind, you know? In West Palm Beach, I'm Josh Navarro, WPTV News Channel 5. Yeah, man, I don't know where that stuff is coming from. You just think you can do whatever you want like that, man. Just because you get mad. Just because you get mad, you ain't got no self-control. You can just do whatever you want. I don't know where that stuff is coming from. People got to get a hold of themselves. People got to get a hold of themselves. Um, now, let me, okay, let me see if I could take a different route. Let me say that. Oh, Dave Chappelle deserved it, blah, 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 blah. Um, he had it coming, blah, 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 blah. I mean... When you get up on stage, you do need to, and then you, you say stuff like that, you say stuff that you know people are going to disagree with. You do need to expect that. But then again, <laughs> you just can't do whatever you want just because you get mad. I don't know where this is coming from. I really don't know where this is coming from. You can say what you want, sure. You could believe what you want, okay. You can do what you want. Yes, do what you want. But is it worth it? Just ask yourself that. Is it really, is it really worth it like that? Is it really, really worth it? I'm sure there's a whole bunch of people home. I'm sure there's a whole crowd of people. Yes, get Dave Chappelle, get him, drag him to the floor. I don't want to see him ever perform again. You don't have to see him ever perform again. Stop watching his shows. Stop listening to him. <laughs> Just leave. Don't spend your money. Leave. Leave. And guess what? If you don't like it, he's not talking to you. He's not worried about you. He doesn't care about you. Go on about your life. Find somebody else that you like. Keep it moving. Keep it stepping. Don't act a fool. Don't don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. But I think that is it for this reaction. Go ahead and hit the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. I'm very very curious. Um, I really I know I know there's got to be somebody. There's got to be somebody that thinks this was okay. There's got to be somebody. I got. I just. I want to hear your song. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I know. I know some people. You know, they like to like to wrestle and tell and tussle and stuff. I don't. I don't want to do all that. I just want to hear what you got to say. I want to hear what you got to say. But you guys know the rule. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If I made you laugh or smile in front of the video, you gotta hit the like button. Go ahead and hit the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. If you want me to react to anything else, go ahead and let me know what you guys want it to be, and I will get on it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Joe Cap.